seed at Redfield Organics. And spring's finally sprung here on the farm. We've been waiting all winter for the weather to warm up. Uh, it's been a very, very rainy winter. Uh, very difficult to get into the field to do any work. And finally, we got a sunshiny day. We're out today uh, really getting the fields ready to start uh, the planting process for the spring. And today we're out turning the fields, plowing the fields. Uh, we want to take a minute and show you how we do that and uh, show you some of the tools that we use uh, and some of the techniques that we use to get the ground prepared uh, for tillage uh, and eventually to plant the seeds. So let's take a look at what we're using today. We're using uh, a tractor. Uh, this is a John Deere 5045D. Uh, it's a two-wheel drive tractor, 45 horsepower tractor. And we're pulling uh, sort of an ancient tool. This is a 19, uh, mid-1940s, maybe early 1950s John Deere a uh, two-disc turning plow. This is a tractor version of a two-disc turning plow. They also made a, a horse-drawn version of this. Uh, but this is a tractor plow, and it's a two-disc. They made a two-disc, a three-disc, and a four-disc plow uh, in this model starting early 1945, 1946, somewhere along in there. Um, this particular implement is still working just as good as it did uh, the day it was built. Uh, I've had this unit for probably about 10 years now. I bought it from another gentleman who had it several years Prior to that, I uh, don't know exactly the year this one was built, uh, but as I said, it's at least uh, back in 19, or late 1940s, 1950s. Um, we'll take a look at some of the parts on it, and I'll show you sort of what you can do with it, and then we'll take a look at how it works in the field in just a moment. As I said, this is a disc plow, a two-disc plow. Most folks are probably familiar with moldboard plows, and moldboard plows are probably used more predominantly today than a disc plow is, and I don't even think they make anything very, at all similar to this plow today. I know John Deere doesn't, uh, that I'm aware of. But this is a two disc plow. You find these a lot in the south. Uh, our clay soils in the south uh, lend itself to working very well with this type of plow. Uh, this one is about a 16 or 18, maybe even a 20 inch disc. I haven't measured the discs on this, but it's probably close to 20 inches, maybe slightly over that. Um, the plow has lots of adjustments on it to, to adjust the depth of the plow, uh, depth of the cut. Uh, some of the parts on it here are this particular wheel out on front is called the land wheel. This is the trip lever that raises and lowers the discs on the plow. Uh, this is a front leveling adjustment here and this is a rear depth adjustment. So you can raise and lower the depth of your cut. A lot of adjustment features on it. You can also adjust it for the size tractor that you're using up here on the front. Uh, you can also attach, and I have them but don't have them on it, sweeps that go inside the disc to clean off the dirt uh, and keep the disc clean as you plow through the field. I don't find it necessary with our soil uh, really to have those on, so I keep them off because sometimes they do get clogged up. But in certain soils with a lot of debris, sometimes you need those sweeps on there, and I do have those if we need them. Uh, but this is a great little plow. It really does a great job in the field. It really peels the soil back and flips it over. And the purpose of this is really um, twofold. One, to break up the ground way deep down in the soil. And uh, secondly, to take all of the, the foliage that's on top, all the grass and weeds and, and, and brush and things that are on the top of the ground and flip them over down to the bottom of the ground where they can decompose and become organic matter and feed the plants as we, as we get toward uh, planting the seeds here in just a little while in the spring. So you really start the whole process with plowing and this is the perfect tool for it uh, in this part of the country. And this is what we use here at Redfield Organics to, uh, to break up the soil and get it ready to plant. So let's take a look and see how it works in the field. We'll run a few rounds and let you see it. All right, let's get started. <laughs> 